Hey everyone, welcome to the Voyager Mate channel. We're going to start doing some updates, showing you what's new with the product, what things we got coming up, and maybe just some interesting facts as well. So today we've got some new Alkmint TPU filament. This is the filament that we use to print the uh, covers, the skins. Unbox this. It's been working out really well. They have um, some translucent filaments that we've been experimenting with and they're working out really nice. They print well, they fuse well, and they look good. I'll kind of show you those in a second. So this is um, a new purple filament. I like how they boxed it up nice and sturdy so it's protected in shipment. Looking forward to printing with some carvers in this and see how it does. It's a solid purple not the translucent. So here's some of the other colors that we've been printing in. This is the blue. It's a translucent. It gives a nice kind of a weave effect. I really like it. It's been pretty popular. And here's a new yellow. And here's the green. And we've got the solid orange and the solid purple. Get a close up and see how that the finish looks on it. I also got translucent um, TPU as well in the orange. You can kind of see that guys. I'm going to do both up there. If you haven't seen the new dash, we've made a couple of modifications. So the old dash uh, had the front claws, I call them, that hooked up over the um, the handlebars. The new dash has no claws. Okay, the new dash is just the straps with the D-ring catch, so it's easier to cinch up on the handlebars. And again, I'll show it over here: the D-ring catch and no more front claws. Also, we've rubberized the straps, so the strap now has a rubberized coating which works really well to grip the handlebars and it does not move. All right. Um, another thing we've been working on with the new dash is the helmet mount. So if you haven't seen this one, okay, the helmet mount, we now have an adapter and you can use any GoPro attachment and right here, the adapter attaches to your existing carrier, which attaches to the GoPro. You just undo this screw, like so, the GoPro, typical GoPro bolt, and it comes apart, all right? And you just put it back together and stick it on your helmet. So you can use different parts. I have it tethered right now. Uh, we use the tether, we give the tether with the, uh, with the GoPro adapter kit. But you can also mount solid mounts, such as this one in the front. Undo the screw, attach the mount. I'm not gonna put the tether on right now, but you get the general idea. I'll screw that up good. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, cinches up real solid. And the way this attaches to the GoPro adapter is it's just the standard MH10 light mount with a 5mm Allen bolt that goes down and bolts into it. It's really, really light. It's really, really solid. Um, I've even taken this out with some uh, additional uh, GoPro pieces like the swing arms and such and it works great. So you can mount it on the side and have it swing arm in and point down. Uh, you can mount it on the top. We also have a, uh, a universal strap. You can strap through your vent holes and attach it to that GoPro mount as well. And we're selling all of this. Um, right now we're just at the Expos and we're doing it at the Expos, but we're also going to uh, gonna have that available online soon as soon as I can get the website updated. So. Again, that's uh, our new helmet adapter, and 
the light just pops out and you can pop it back in. All right. So let me uh, let me show you this on the big camera as well. I'm gonna snap that baby in there. Nice snap fit. Honestly, uh, I can tell people most time I don't even need the strap. Okay. Um, especially, I mean, if you're commuting, I mean, if you're racing, you know, I put the strap on there just to be extra sure. I mean, there is a tether on there, but uh, the, the carrier itself snaps so tight that honestly it doesn't really need the strap. But you put it there because better safe than shorter, right? If you've never seen these, they have the two tongs and they just slide in and they fit. So we're also going to be doing, we're going to be doing a new mount for the dash. This was our old mount right here. And our new mount, we're gonna be utilizing the, um, the a manufactured GoPro mount. It's basically a camera mount that will attach via a bolt to the dash. And that is removable, right? Uh, reason why is it's got a really nice slim form factor. It's really solid. And honestly, the price of manufacturing just doesn't make it worth it to, uh, to uh, print them. All right, so let me stick this back on. So here again, this is our new GoPro adapter. Hopefully that's in focus. And I'm gonna flip it around. It's gonna fit all of your GoPro mounts. So your helmet mounts, um, any mount that you have, you're gonna be able to adapt it. The existing MH10 carrier that you have to a GoPro mount. Stick it on your helmet. In this case, I have the tail off it right now, but you're just gonna snap it in, like so. Um, I put a tether on it, we sell the tether, we sell the tether with the mount. So you attach it there, just in case something falls off, the GoPro mount fa falls off or whatever, you're still gonna have your pieces, you're still gonna have your, your light intact, you're not gonna lose that. Um, it's all adjustable and it's adjustable in every direction, right? So there's a bolt inside, that's how it attaches, that when you pull a light off, you'll have access to the um, five mil bolt. And you can adjust it up and down, and you can adjust it in and out, like so. If for some reason you wanted to go farther out, you could, um, but you need a little GoPro adapter for the, the swing arm that swings up, which we sell, which we're gonna have on the website, Right now, we're just doing the helmet mountings at the uh, races and the expos. So if you see us there, you can come on up and uh, you can probably swing a deal. I'll probably be nice to you and, and give you a GoPro mount for, for cheap and installed for free. All right, so we talked about that. We talked about the new uh, GoPro mount that we're gonna use, basically a camera mount with the bolt that's gonna to attach to an adapter and go right on your dash. Easy on, easy off, totally solid. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, another thing I wanna show you is the, um, the new slides that we have. And I'm gonna go grab those, I'll be right back. All right, so if you've ever seen, by the way, the, uh, the carrier, this is our standard, uh, the new, carrier. If you've never done it and you don't know, our carrier snaps on a skin. The skin snaps right on top of it, right? So here's the skin and you just pull it over top like so and now it's attached. So right on top and now you're attached, right? And you can pull this off super easy and put on a new one. Do say you do need to be in like ambient temperature, 60 degrees is nice. So it, it will harden, it will stiffen when it gets pulled up, but it still works great, holds on. So you wanna take it off, you just pull off the tabs, and now you have the carrier and your skin. You change bikes, you want a new skin, easy off, easy on. Okay. So, the new slides, let me just show you those without the Velcro. The new slides are super easy to use. Uh, the reason why we changed it is because we wanted them to be uh, more universal. We wanted them to, uh, to work on more bikes. 
and we had some problems with really short, really flat necks. So we came up with this. And what this is, is it's kind of a teardrop shape. Both of them are a teardrop shape. And you get the, um, the advantage of a wider range of necks that you can use it on if you push it on one way or you push it on the other way. So they're, they flip over, they're universal. And there's what my test print's getting done. Um, here's the, uh, the small. The small, we've saved some, some space by having the strap go right underneath the slide, which has been great. And because we constructed it in a two-piece construction, we've got an extra wall of strength inside there, which is working out fantastic. I'm super happy with it. So here again, you just slide it on, and I'll show you up close in a minute over here, but under the GoPro, you can see how it slides on, moves forward and back, like such. It's also got a lot cleaner finish on the inside. Uh, because we changed our printing process. And depending on your neck, you can flip around the other way. You can also extend out beyond the slide. So if you get those really short necks, um, it's going to work on there. And if you need it, you can flip it over the other way. Extend it way out front if you need it. Still absolutely solid and going to work awesome for you. Here's for the real flat ones. And you can turn that around again and work it the other way. So showing up here, they work real easy. We got the small slide with the tapered design, which I actually have up on uh, Fusion 3D right now. And here's the new teardrop shaped large. Uh, and so far we've been able to, to do just about everybody. And we did everybody at the, uh, uh, where were we at? The Eagle Outdoor Festival and Races last weekend and no problem mounting on a wide range from short mountain bike necks to uh, um, to some of the road bikes to cruisers it, it fit on all those all right so that's the new slide all right um, next up i want to talk about a new product that we had been uh, showcasing at the, the the show last weekend it's going to be our new hc50 headlamp this thing is, is awesome, right? If you're not familiar with it, well, you're probably not familiar with it, but um, this light is running 760 lumens at 100 degree radius. Um, I actually think it's broad. All right, so this one is doing 760 lumens with the 18650 battery, the rechargeable lithium ion battery. And it's going to run an hour and 15 minutes on that, but I think it's going to be a lot longer. Um, I think it's actually going to go probably two hours at that, at least. Uh, with their new battery, the new 2300, and the 3400 battery that we have, the upgraded battery, is probably going to run more like, I'm thinking three, four hours, maybe on up to like six hours. So we're going to test it out shortly and have the stats up. Um, high is 300 lumens, mid is 140 lumens, and low is 25 lumens, and eco is one lumen. So they claim uh, on the site that it's going to be three hours and 30 minutes, or the claim is right now on Nightcore that this is going to run three hour and Three hours and 30 minutes at 300 lumens. It's going to run seven hours and 30 minutes at 140 lumens and 55 hours at 25 lumens and then 510 hours at one lumen or in just kind of accessory mode where you can read maps and such. All right the ANSI rating on this is two meters submersible not water resistant but submersible so you're gonna be able to drop this in the water and it's gonna be all right you drop it in a shallow creek and you're gonna be good as long as you don't go below two meters. Um, and that's the claim. Of course, normally they go quite a bit farther than that, but we're not going to push it. Um, it's also impact resistant to 1.5 meters. So you drop it from a stand, you wipe it on the bike, it rolls out, you're going to be fine. Um, you break it, you send it back to us, and we replace it for five years. That's the deal. Same deal as we have on the MH10 light. It's a great, great light. We love Nightcore for that reason. Um, multimeter in the side, you, when you screw it on uh, and you put the battery in, it's going to give you the blink reading uh, for how many volts you have, which gives you a great indicator as to, right there, as to how many uh, volts you have left. So the first blink is, you know, one, two, three. The second blink goes one to nine, so you know you've got 3.7 volts left. Uh, generally, when you're getting down to like 2.8, then, you know, you're going to be dead. So you'll know exactly how much you have on there. Uh, same kind of push button mode. You just turn it on, it's got a memory wherever you're at. Turn it off, turn it back on, 
memory comes right back to the same place. Now, like a lot of other headlamps, we have to cycle through each time. We see this light being our multi-sport light. So we plan on uh, selling it with the headband. So you get the head straps, you can use it for hiking. And I've used it and it's absolutely fantastic. I do 14ers, I do some rock climbing and mountaineering, and this thing completely outshines my other standard lights like the you know 70, 140 light or uh, lumen lights that you can get at REI or whatever. Um, obviously it's a little bit bigger because it carries that lithium ion battery, but that also gives you that battery life, which is awesome, right? So we're looking at making a mount for this as well for the dash. So the kind of reason why I got it in the first place was so that we could um, get a larger cast from the wheel forward. So I'm talking like the back of the wheel. It has a 98 meter uh, cast or distance on it. Um, I, I like to say like I took it out and tested it. 60 feet in its spread is all completely illuminated. Um, I love the setup with the MH10, like the Knight Rider. Uh, we got the two MH10s. You're casting way out, you can see way out, um, and then this floods everything in your vicinity, which you could have mounted to your, your dash when we had the adapter done, which should be done in about a month, three weeks to a month. Um, but we're also doing GoPro mount for this. So I like this, which I just zip tied it right now to my helmet, but we're gonna have this GoPro uh, compatible so you can snap it into the GoPro wherever you're looking, you're lit. Uh, we're also going to do a fork mount, so you could run a right and a left fork mount uh, and basically just have everything uh, illuminated out in front of you. And I doubt you're going to need 760 lumens at that, you'll probably drop it down um, drop it down to the lower 300 lumens and then you're going to be able to run that you know, for hours and hours, especially with the 3400 battery. I foresee it going all night long at, at that rating. Um, so this is going to be a great addition. This also, waterproof, we're looking at getting in some of the other sports. So paddle boarding, kayaking, uh, if you're training or you're out at night for whatever reason, um, river surfing, you're going to be able to use this, GoPro mount it to, to, your, uh, to your board, GoPro mount it to your helmet, um, and then put a GoPro float on it. And if it falls in the water, then you're going to be fine. It's just going to float, float there. Uh, as long as you don't dive down, your light is still going to be working and you're going to be get out of the water, get back on your board, um, hop it back into your sport. Also for skiing, uh, we're looking at getting this same thing mounted to your helmet, all your GoPro, and now you have a universal light. So you can use it on your bike, you can use it on your headlamp hiking, you'll be able to use it on, um, on your board, if you're paddle boarding, and it's really going to become your go-to light for everything you need. Okay, last thing we're going to talk about is the, uh, the new uh, power bank and charger. So we kind of have a little bit of a different play, and I'm, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. I can't go into too, de too many details until we have the patent done. Um, but what we've worked out is uh, a ruggedized container, basically, for two independent chargers. So each charger is going to go into the container. You're going to be able to charge into there uh, via a, not waterproof, but a water-resistant and dust-proof uh, enclosure. Uh, you're also going to be able to charge out of there um, to your devices and you can pull each one out individually. So now if you need just one battery pack uh, power bank, you can pull that one out, stick your 18650 battery in it, and you'll be able to stick that in your pocket and go off. If you want to have it on your bike or you want to have the bigger case, you know, if you're running 3400 mAh batteries, you'll be able to run two of them and get 6800 mAh uh, portable power or divide it up into two. So it really, again, we're trying to work out that versatility where you can use it in multiple sports um, and it's going to meet all your needs with the same mechanics. So the same battery you put it into your, your light will go into your power bank. You can have two of them in there charging. You can pull one out, use that for a power bank on a hike or whatever. Um, and, or you get somewhere and you want to you know, charge them both up, it's going to be a micro USB charger in it. And I think that's going to be a really cool addition to the, the Voyager Made line. And uh, hope you guys like it. So that's our update. A lot of stuff for one update, but I hope uh, you guys will check it out. And if you haven't looked at the dash yet, if you haven't picked one up, uh, tested it out, come out, check out what races we're at. We'll get you fitted. We'll let you demo it. And there's nothing that lasts longer, that's brighter, and that's lighter than what we make and nothing is coming close to our price point. So uh, I don't know why you wouldn't go ahead and just get lit and come on down to Voyager Made. All right, guys, thanks for watching.